Hello everyone, today's video is going to be a spring barn tour of my Schleich Silver Star Stables for 2021. So as I sometimes do in my tours, I'm just going to be touring this part of my stable that I've set up really pretty and nice for spring. So these aren't all of my ponies, these are just the ones I've put around the barn today. And also a lot of the tack in this tour has been made by you guys, a lot of these little saddles and this little saddle and lots of the little halters. Of course some of the halters and bits of tacks I made like that one, but a lot of these pieces of tack were made by you guys and I want to thank you so very much. So let's begin on this end of the barn. So in this darling little stable, we have Flora and Cloudy. They are Tinker Marinful. And we also have Peppermint and her filly Twinkle. They are both Arabians. And their stalls can be accessed from the front door or this door in the back of the stable. And on these little racks, these little tack racks, saddle racks, we have a fly mask, a first aid kit, a fork for cleaning out the stalls, and someone's English saddle. Then here in this little corner, we have a little basket with a blanket and our little pet bunny, Fluffy, <laughs> around the stable. Then there is two tack boxes. So this is Teresa's personal tack box. So she's got her extra blanket for Toronto, a bucket, treats, and a grooming kit, all pink because that's her color. And she's got her own tack box because I guess she's special. <laughs> Anyways, and then in this tack box, there is a whole bunch of lead ropes. So all these lead ropes are for all the horses out in the paddock wearing their halters. And there's also a few extra halters. Then if you walk around the back of the stable over to this side, this isn't actually like a feed room, but it's kind of like our feed area because it's outside. So it's not exactly a feed room, but this is where we've been keeping all the feed for the animals. It's a bit messy right now. It's overflowing with apples and carrots and lettuce. So we have Jim. He is going to tidy this up and he's also in charge of feeding the horses today. And we also have Penny, our hen, who is helping him. Then right here in this corner, there's some bags of oats and some grain for the horses and also our little baby lamb. And I almost forgot to mention, but I most certainly can't. On top of the stable is Rudy. His job is to wake everyone up in the morning and make sure the chores get done on time. Then there's like a stone walkway or path that goes on this side of the paddock. So galloping up the path is Teresa on her horse, Toronta. Toronta is a Lipizzan mare, and she, if you watch my series, she is a queen, of course, and she's got, Teresa has all of her pink tack on, and she's going for a little ride with Liana, and Liana is riding Cora, she's a Hanoverian mare, and they're in their beautiful tack. Then in back of the stone path, there are two paddocks, so we'll start in this one. This here is King, he is a Tinker Stallion, and he is Little Cloudy's dad. And then we have Brooke, she is cleaning out the paddock. <laughs> and then we have Spitfire, he is a Thoroughbred Stallion. And we also have Comet, he is an Arabian Stallion, and he is Little Twinkle's dad. They've also got some hay in their paddock, and there's also hay in this other paddock, and this is a Marin Full paddock right now. So this is Dawn and her little filly. I still haven't quite thought of a name for it yet. I guess I really haven't been trying that hard, but they are both Thoroughbreds, and Spitfire is um, this little filly's dad. This is Sky and her colt that I as well haven't thought of the perfect name for him yet, and I can't exactly remember their breed. And out front of the paddock here, this is Tilta and Ginger May. They are Tennessee walkers. And this is Jenny. She's giving Ginger May some pets. And in this little corner, there's a stump. And on the stump is our little kitten, Squiggles. And then this here is the wash stall. So there's a grooming kit to use in the wash stall. And in the wash stall, we have Josie and Sparkle. Sparkle is an Isolanic pony. So Josie's getting her in the wash rack to give her a bath because she's a gray and grays get dirty very easily. And also there's some treats in the corner, which I'm really surprised the horses in this paddock haven't snatched those out of the corner. Oh well, they're good ponies. Then up just a little ways, this is our little squirrel. He's always hanging around the barn, and today he's on the roof of the barn. Whoopsie, almost falling off the roof of the barn. There he is. 
Over here, coming out of the stable, we have Abby. She is leading Jewel, our saddlebred mare. She is looking so beautiful in her blue tag. And one of my favorite things to do is try to pair a person with the horse and their tag so they all match. So Abby matches her just lovely. They're gonna go, they're heading to the arena, which is in the barn over yonder that's really messy that I'm not showing in the tour today. So they're going to be going for a ride and then here we have Stephanie and she is going to groom Charlotte, her Hanoverian mare. So Stephanie and Charlotte do dressage and they're really good at it and they've got all their green tack. Then inside the stable we have Sophie and she is leading out Razzle Dazzle who is an Appaloosa mare. She's got her bucket. I'm not exactly sure where they're going. They might be heading out to the wash rack for when Josie and Sparkle are finished but in the stable um there's a stack of buckets here these are all the horses grain buckets so we just stack them up when they're not being used there's a broom to sweep out the stable and dog food and um water or milk or whatever <laughs> there for the little critters and there's some hay bales and we also have a saddle rack with someone's western saddle in this first stall is coco and dixie She's looking outside, and there's Dixie. They are both trackners, and they've got a treat lick in their stall, and of course, they got their water and food. And then in this stall, this is Buttermilk and Dusty. They're Andalusians. In this stall is Ice. He's an Andalusian stallion, and he is little Dusty's dad. Also in his stall is this battery pack. This is for the lights that go around the fence in the big paddocks. So I really don't have a better spot to put it. It's safe in here. It's not going to fall off the table here. So I keep it in his stall even though it's not very pretty. And yes, my stable is on a table. Sometimes I get questions, but my stable, I keep it on a table. And anyways, in this stall, this is Rocky. You can see him better from outside as well. He's talking with Cookie, but he is a Clydesdale gelding. Now we're out to this side of the stable with all the big paddocks and also the little lights that go around the fence. I thought they were pretty, so I left them up from Christmas. I think they go fine with spring as well. They're just fairy lights. Anyway, so on this fence right here, there's some ribbons that the horses have won. They're very decorative there. And in this paddock, we have Hunter and Sarah, who is going to bring him in, but obviously she forgot her lead rope. Then, like I said earlier, we have Cookies. He is a Shetland Pony Stallion. And we also have Wind Dancer. He is a Pinto Stallion. They've got a little pile of hay, and in this paddock, there's a water trough. So this is a paddock for mares. We have Clover. She is a quarter horse mare. We have Bella Bee. She is a tinker mare. We have Pokey. Wait, this is Panky. This is Pokey, and this is Spice. They are Shetland ponies. This is Blossom. She is an Tech mare. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that breed correctly. And we have Minnie and Jericho, and they are Isolanics. There is another pile of hay in this corner of the paddock. And right here, we have Adam and Flint. And they are getting into the trailer with Winnie. She is a paint mare. Oopsie. And I just knocked Squeaker off the trailer. He was hanging out up here. Here's Squeaker, our barn cat. But Winnie is in the trailer. She's got a pretty little blanket on. And Adam has Flint. And they're heading into the trailer because they are going to a show. How very exciting. I'm not exactly quite sure what Flint's breed is. But I'm pretty sure it's probably a very fancy breed. Because he is a fancy boy. Like I said, this is our truck and horse trailer. There's a grooming kit in the back of the truck, I guess, and squeaker. There are also a few little flower pots with flowers in them out back this paddock, kind of where no one sees them. I kind of stuck them back here because they were a bit in the way, but I really should put them out front again. <laughs> Then out front of these paddocks, getting the mares and everyone excited, we have Jordan on Clyde. They are galloping up this path. So very beautiful. And Clyde is a Shire Stallion. I just love Clyde and his mane. This is definitely the best way, I think, to tack Clyde up. Just because he looks so beautiful when someone's riding him bareback. 
So that is my little tour of my Schleich stable. I know it's not the biggest stable, but I love it so very much. And before we end the tour though, I want to mention the grass I used to put my stable on. We bought it from the hardware store. I think the specific store was Home Depot, but I think it's called Indoor Outdoor Carpeting. And that's what I use for grass around my stable. Just wanted to mention that because a lot of times people wonder and have questions of where I got it. Anyway, thank you so very much for joining me on this tour around Silver Star Stables. I hope you enjoyed it. It was probably kind of short, <laughs> but thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!